Hey everybody, James here. Here's a we're gonna do a video here about uh, my my journey to uh, get a cast bullet to fly in my 6.5 Grendel AR. It was kind of a messed up journey because the mold I got was dropping bullets at 264 diameter. It was supposed to be a 266 95 grain mold. Well. I contacted the manufacturer and he never got back with me. After a couple of weeks, I decided to try to fix the mold myself and I bought a, a reamer online and used my drill press and chucked up the mold and basically reamed out the, uh, the OD of the bullet mold. And this is what I ended up with. It's a flat base 97 grain bullet. Now, because when I first started my load development, I, I realized there was a problem because I have a 265 sizer die. And after powder coating, you know, when I was sizing these, the, uh, the bullet was going in there like with no resistance. And that's when I realized the mold was undersized. And this would have been my typical group at 25 yards with the bullet sized at 265. Well, anyway, I got talking with some guys on Discord. Julio was one. And he said that for his Grendel, he sizes them at 266. So once I started size, uh, what I did was I opened up this reamer with a dowel rod and some sandpaper and made this 265 diameter size or die a 266 diameter. Then my group started doing their thing. Well, this is, I actually got two loads that weren't too bad. My goal was to have a non-gas check bullet just powder coated shoot reasonably well at as high a velocity as I could get out of it. Well I did my load development and stuff and I actually got I was trying H335 powder and CFE black powder. And these are my two best groups so far at 100 yards. Is right this one here I I was struggling with flyers now you could say that was me or or the wind because it was a pretty windy day that day but there's four and a half inch at 100 yards and I that group there you got to count it or that shot you got to count it that opened it up to inch and an eighth with the CFE black 18 grains well should say I used 21 grains of H335. And then I used 18 grains of CFE black. I got three right in there, probably half inch or less, but then two more opened it up to inch and a quarter. As of now, that's my two best loads, but at 100 yards, I don't think that's too awfully bad for a non gas check bullet. The 21 grains of 335 is is uh, running at 2,022 feet per second average, and that only had an extreme spread of 24. The uh, CFE black load with a one and a quarter inch group, it's running 1991 feet per second, but the extreme spread is 49. But both of them are are right in there. I mean inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. That's not too shabby, I don't think, for a cast bullet load. If I can just... Now what I did do is I found out also that that the overall length of the where I seated the bullet made a difference, because this is the same 21 grain load, but I... I found that by doing the seating depth tests that my gun actually makes a big difference where I seat it. 
these loads that shot the best groups were at 10 thousandths and 15 thousandths off the lands. But then when I went 20 thousandths, the flyers got more extreme. So by doing the powder charge testing, got my best groups with the powder charge, and then going and changing the overall seating depths of the bullets, I'd almost have to say that the seating depth made as much as a, of a change in accuracy as the powder charge. Because, like I said, when it made a world of difference in the, uh, like, here's one here. Same, same powder charge, 21 grains, 335. Got four of them right in there, inch and an eighth, but it was slinging when I seated the bullets deeper in the case. So for some reason, this gun likes it, likes to bullet up close to the lands within 10 thousandths. And I, I did the test over and over and over again. Every time I changed the seating depth, see, oh well, there was one where I actually went a half grain hotter. And the groups opened up with the H335. I got a 2 and 3 sixteenths group. And you can see they weren't trying to cluster, cluster together like, like these other loads. And also, I started to get, I'd bring the rifle in house, run a patch down the bore, and I started getting a little bit of leading. Not much, but there were some like little specks on the patch when I went to 21.5. So that's when I decided my max charge was going to be 21 grains. So anyway... I'm getting fairly good extreme spreads with the H335. There's one there with five shots, extreme spread of 24. And that's not too shabby for a ball pad powder. So anyway, if I could get that flyer issue resolved, I mean, if you can put four inside of a half inch, that's pretty good, but uh, you know, was it the wind? Was it me? The shots all felt good. But could have been me. Who knows? But I'm going to keep playing with it and see if I can get it maybe a little better than that. But if I can't, hey, inch and an eighth, that's plenty good because, you know, it's a cast bullet load. It's mainly for shooting the gong at 100 yards. And I can hit that gong all day long with that group, so. But down the road, I'm going to play with it some more. See if I can get that that issue there taken care of with that, that random flyer. But it, I get that random flyer so easily just by changing the, the bullet seating depth and the powder charge. So anyway. This is what it looks like all loaded up and as it is now with with these kind of groups it was uh i i settled on ten thousands off the lands for the bullet seating depth and either 21 grains of h335 or 18 grains of cfe black they're both pretty much identical groups but inch and a quarter inch and an eighth is so far, the best I've gotten out of. And I may settle with that, or maybe down the road play a little bit more if I can figure out some other way of tweaking the load. But I, I kind of think I've exhausted all my avenues right now. But who knows? Might come up with something that'll that'll tighten it up some more. So anyway, that's my journey with a the testing of a cast bullet and a 6.5 Grendel AR. Hope that helps some people out there. Thanks for watching.